Now, the packaging is quite simple and once we break open the seal, we first have the Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G itself, which is wrapped in a plastic wrapping. Now, we place this aside for now and next up is a little cardboard pouch, which has the SIM eject tool on the outside. And if we open this up, we first have the quick start guide and some warranty info. And next up, we have the USB Type-C to Type-C cable. And that's pretty much it. Now, let's take a closer look at the Galaxy S21 Ultra 5G itself. I mean, you get a single hole punch cutout for the camera on the top. It's very slim bezels all around and a metal frame. However, Samsung has updated the design of the back in a pretty major way. We now have a matte textured glass panel on this phantom black color variant and a new contour cut camera design. Now over here, the metal frame on the side fuses with the camera module, which makes it look like an extension of the side frame. And overall, I think it looks way more premium. It even manages to hide the heft of the phone pretty well, in my opinion. However, once you actually hold it, there's no getting around the fact that it is quite a heavy phone and a chunky one at that. However, it does still feel very premium and solidly built. Now on the right, we have the power and volume buttons and at the bottom, we have a slot for the two nano SIM cards, a USB Type-C port and a speaker. Now the earpiece on the top, which is actually cleverly hidden, also doubles up as a second speaker for a stereo effect. Samsung has ditched support for a micro SD card this time around, which means you cannot expand the internal storage. Now the display on the S21 Ultra 5G looks amazing. It's a 6.8 inch AMOLED panel with a Quad HD Plus resolution and it supports up to 120Hz refresh rate. Now the S21 Ultra's display is also mildly curved around the edges for a more premium look and feel and is also protected by Corning's Gorilla Glass Victus. Now one thing I personally like about this display compared to the S20 Ultra's display is the use of an adaptive refresh rate which actually lets you use the 120Hz at the full Quad HD Plus resolution. Now Samsung is also using an adaptive refresh rate here which it says can scale all the way down to 10Hz if needed in order to save battery. Now the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra sold in India features the new Exynos 2100 SoC. In terms of RAM and storage for the S21 Ultra, there's the base model with 12GB of RAM and 256GB of storage, which is the one I have, and a top-end variant with a crazy 16GB of RAM and 512GB of storage. Now some of the other features of the S21 Ultra 5G include an IP68 rating for dust and water resistance, a 5000 mAh battery with support for fast wired and wireless charging and even reverse wireless charging, and of course Samsung Pay. The phone also has an in-display fingerprint sensor and face unlock for biometric authentication. Now the S21 Ultra also runs One UI 3.1 which is the latest version and is based on Android 11. It's a bit more polished, but it looks and feels similar to the previous versions. Now, the selfie camera has a 40 megapixel resolution as we now have two telephoto cameras, a 10 megapixel sensor with a 3x optical zoom and another 10 megapixel camera with a 10x optical zoom. Now, you still get 100x space zoom. Samsung says it's added a new focus lock feature for better stability when shooting at a very high magnification. Now, both these telephoto cameras also support optical stabilization and dual pixel autofocus. Now, the two other cameras include a 108 megapixel primary camera with face detection autofocus, optical stabilization, and an f1.8 aperture. And finally, a 12 megapixel ultra wide angle camera with a 120 degree field of view, autofocus, and an f2.2 aperture. Now, Samsung continues to hype up 8K video recording, which is supported this time around too. However, it's still only at 24 FPS. Everybody knows that I'm breaking down. Everybody knows I ain't faking now. Everybody knows my heart's faking now. Yeah, she hates me now. I made mistakes, but now I don't ever want to be alone. I don't really ever feel at home.